In the previous video, we understood percent means per hundred. In this video, we will see some examples of percentage. A classroom consists of 40 students, out of which 12 students are absent today. Find the percentage of students who are absent and students who are present. The total number of students in the class is equal to 40. The number of students absent is equal to 12. Therefore, the number of students absent comprises of 12 by 40 part of the total number of students. To express it in percent, we have to convert the denominator of the fraction to 100. For this, we will multiply the fraction 12 by 40 with 100 and divide it by 100 so that the value of the fraction does not change. 12 by 40 is equal to 12 by 40 into 100 by 100, which is equal to 12 by 40 into 100 percent, which is equal to 12 into 100 by 40 percent, which is equal to 1200 by 40 percent, which is equal to 30 percent. Therefore, 30 percent of the students are absent in the classroom today. The number of students present is equal to the total number of students minus the number of students absent, which is equal to 40 minus 12, which is 28. So, the number of students present is 28 by 40 part of the total number of students. Let us express it in percent. 28 by 40 equals to 28 by 40 into 100 by 100, which is equal to 28 by 40 into 100 percent, which is equal to 28 into 100 by 40 percent, which is equal to 2800 by 40 percent, which is equal to 70 percent. We can find the percent of number of students present in another method. Any guesses how? Let me tell you. The total number of students in the classroom is 40. Since it expresses the total or whole part, we can consider it 100%. Since we have obtained the percent of students absent is 30%, we can say that the percent of number of students present is equal to 100% minus 30% is equal to 70%. Next example. 250 ice creams were ordered for a school festival. If 20% of these are vanilla ice cream, Find the total number of vanilla ice creams. Here, out of 250, 20% are vanilla ice cream, that is 20% of 250. X percentage of a number Y is equal to X percentage into Y. Thus, the quantity of vanilla ice cream is equal to 20% into 250. Because 20% of 250 is equal to 20% into 250. Since percentage is 1 by 100, the number of vanilla ice cream is equal to 20 by 100 into 250, which is equal to 50. That is, 50 out of the 250 are vanilla ice creams. Example 3. Ajay has scored 592 out of 800 in a competitive examination. Find out what percentage of marks did he obtain. If in the same examination, his friend Raman has obtained 84%, then find out how many marks did he score out of 800. It is given in the example that Ajay has scored 592 by 800. Here, the total marks are 800, out of which Ajay has scored 592 marks. Let us express the score in percent. 592 by 800 is equal to 592 by 800 into 100 by 100. Here, we can express 1 by 100 in percentage. In this way, 592 by 800 is equal to 592 by 800 into 100 percent, which is equal to 592 by 8 percent, which is 74 percent. Hence, Ajay has obtained 74% in the examination. Now let's find out how much Raman got. Since Raman obtained 84% out of 800 marks in the exam, marks obtained by Raman is equal to 84% into 800. Since percentage is equal to 1 by 100, 
we can write 84% as 84 by 100. The marks obtained by Raman is equal to 84 by 100 into 800, which is equal to 84 into 8, which is equal to 672. Therefore, Raman has scored 672 marks out of 800 in the examination. Today, we saw examples of percentage. Why don't you play a game of asking percentage questions and getting answers with your friends? In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to percentage.